This is Fred Hadley reporting live on Facebook. And we're at the corner of Cornwall, uh, actually Brighton Drive and Century Village Boulevard. Uh, and that's where the famous uh, Times Square intersection where we have a lot of accidents. And as you can see uh, on this stop sign, it says cross traffic does not stop. That's because uh, many people coming out of the side streets assume that they will stop. Um, there was a minor two-car collision a little while ago, uh, and it happened right in the intersection here. Apparently, uh, one car, uh, a black Kia, was going eastbound, uh, like you see these cars going, and about to make a left turn uh, onto Clubhouse Drive when a second vehicle coming out of Brighton Drive, where I'm indicating with my finger, either went through the stop sign, stopped and, and you know, kept going, and there was apparently a minor collision. We're going to take a look at the vehicles now, which have been uh, pulled over to the side. I want to thank uh, uh, Danny for calling uh, the tip in, and Joan also as well. Appreciate that. And this Nissan Altima apparently was the vehicle coming out of uh, Brighton Drive and uh, supposedly spun around and, uh, and, and hit, hit the bushes on the center divider and sustaining minor damage in the left rear quarter panel. vehicle does not have a residence sticker on it, so don't know if it was a visitor or someone else not familiar with the intersection. And the vehicle that was headed eastbound on Century Village Boulevard was this Kia, um, which also does not have a residence sticker. I understand these folks are just moving into the village today. So, terrible way to get uh, welcomed. And apparently the only uh, damage that this vehicle has sustained uh, is to the grill area and some scraping on the front hood of the vehicle. Looks like a fairly uh, late model car. Uh, as far as we know, there are no injured. And we haven't seen any uh, uh, emergency uh, medical technicians, so I don't think there were any injuries. Also seems perhaps to be uh, some minor damage on the side here. And we're going to take a look at the, uh, the hedges now, we understand that the white vehicle spun around and, and hit the hedges on the center here. Right now there's a lot of traffic coming into the village, so we'll just wait for a little lull. Carefully step out and take a look. Well, if these hedges were hit, they don't seem to be any the worse for wear. The flowers are still intact. Oh, here we have some damage. Uh, right here on the curb. Uh, this is crumbling and you can see some fragments uh, scattered among the flower bed. And over here, there's some small plastic debris uh, in the roadway so so again uh, reminding everybody that the village speed limit is 20 miles an hour and when you go inside the associations it drops down to 15 miles an hour uh, this intersection 
which is Century Village Boulevard, is the main entrance to the village, and that's Lions Road in the background. That's the south gate. Uh, the most of the traffic, or much of the traffic, comes into the village, and and we're here at Brighton Drive. Uh, for a number of years, we used to have speed bumps on Century Village Boulevard, uh, but it was determined that they weren't really very effective because a lot of the vehicles that were on the side street, we're on the side street now, would approach this intersection and see the traffic slowing down for the speed bump about let's say where that car is now used to be a speed bump. And they would interpret that to mean that the boulevard traffic was uh, graciously yielding to the side street, which of course uh, boulevards uh, do not yield to side streets. And as a result, the people on a side street would surge forward, uh, go through the stop sign, and subsequently they, they added these uh, secondary signs reminding everybody that the boulevard, which is the cross traffic, uh, does not stop. And as you can see, this is at right at the entrance to Brighton, uh, which is decorated with some holiday lights, uh, Brighton Drive and Century Village Boulevard. So anyway, that means that the family either went through the stop sign or stopped but didn't properly yield and the other vehicle coming in from the south gate was about to make the turn here and head into clubhouse drive and you can see there's some small bits of debris in the roadway Again, there doesn't appear to be any injuries, and it's a very low-speed collision, we presume. We didn't see it. And thanks to Danny and Joan again for uh, giving us a heads up. We're live on Facebook. This is Fred Hadley in Century Village Boulevard, Boca Raton, Florida. joining us the sheriff's department is here and there's some uh, damage to the Altima which was on the side street and the vehicle that it collided with uh, had the right away and that was the Kia which is a nice looking vehicle and that just sustained some repairable uh, front end damage uh, to the grill here so I don't know where this piece of plastic I guess that's underneath the grill and it's now exposed uh, other than that it seems to be in pretty good condition And supposedly, the occupants of this vehicle uh, were moving in to Century Village today. That's why they have no resident uh, decal. So, another day in Century Village. Be very careful when you're driving around here. A lot of people don't believe in stop signs. Um, a lot of people going much faster than they should be. Uh, while we were setting up for this, there were a couple of near misses and this is the uh, famous Times Square intersection that's what I call it so I'm from New York City and it's one of the busiest intersections in the village and it's where Brighton Drive Century Village Boulevard and Clubhouse Drive uh, come together so there's a lot of traffic here uh, oddly enough you have a similar intersection on the north side of the village uh, on New England Boulevard, where they seem to have far fewer accidents. So I don't know what it is about this one that, that makes it, uh, other than the fact that much of the traffic coming into the village comes from the south, so they may be using this entrance to a larger extent. 
Um, there's a right turn lane here, which they don't have at the north gate, so maybe some people come in through this side because it's a little easier to get in. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. So we're wishing you all a, a happy new year. And uh, if you like the video, please leave a comment uh, below. And uh, if you see anything, uh, you, you can call us up. Um, our phone number is in the Village Century, which is our newsletter. Uh, but I'll say it on the air. And it's 561-372-1772 if you see anything. Let us know. So once again, Fred Hadley reporting live at the intersection, the busy intersection of Century Village Boulevard, Brighton Drive, and to the left, Clubhouse Drive, where the two vehicles that had a very minor collision Apparently, the woman in the uh, blue pants is the mother of the other woman, and she was the driver and uh, of the black Kia, or dark gray Kia, uh, that was making the left turn onto Clubhouse Drive when it had a, uh, a collision with the, uh, the Altima, uh, the white Altima. Fortunately, uh, there were no injuries. So thank you very much. Signing off for now.